I kind of do this whole thing where I just get down here, get a new fresh cup of coffee and uh, just uh, hit go. Isn't that the way you're supposed to be able to do things, I guess? Okay. And yes, I'm clicking around, actually getting set up. So, hey, happy new year. Like, super excited to have you with me. Starting the year off right, I hope, here, Domain to Profit. And what are you expecting? What, what are you looking for from this guy right here? I'm Drew Wash. And, well, I hope it's not much. I hope it's just you're here. You want to do great things this year. You want good things for your life. And, hey, you figured you'd give this a try. I'm here doing what I love. I'm here looking through expiring domain names. And I am going to, well, try to find domains that I love that maybe you will love too or even love more than me. Maybe the domains that we'll look at, these are expiring domain names, so domains that somebody, you know, years ago or maybe just last year, they, they had a dream, they had something they wanted to do. So they registered a domain name and they, they started to look at creating the life they wanted. And just like, you know, many, we, you know, a few weeks from now, the gyms will be empty. People give up on their dreams. Well, you know. 127 weeks into doing this show, I can tell you, I see many of the same faces on the stream, many of the same people joining me, and I'll tell you what, this community's fired up for 2023. We're going to do some big, big things this year, and domain names are the foundation of the big things we're going to do. So I'm excited. I know we have a couple good domains this week, which is fantastic because, to be quite honest, the last couple weeks... The domains haven't been set in any records. So uh, we will be looking through expireddomains.net. I'll show you how we get started on that just after we get going. If you have not, I see lots of people saying hi in the chat. Say hi. Let us know you're here. This isn't just about Drew. If you are watching on Restream, no, this is a live show. Join us live if you can. And then you get access to chat with all the other people that are watching who are looking for domain names, who just love this web, internet, entrepreneurship ship stuff. So join them, hang out with us, and I will see you just after we get going with our trendy little music, if I can actually click the button right. Here we go. Domain to Profit, I'm Drew Wash. See you on the other side. From domain to profit, domain to profit, from a dot com to a business I Domain name development income from domain to profit. We'll show you how. Domain to profit from domain to profit. Join Drew Wash and get started right now. Entrepreneurship name. See you in the chat. We were I was talking a little bit uh, prior to the show as I was clicking around. Yeah, I'm committed to the show. 127 weeks, and you know. It's not that I'm committed to the show all that particularly much as much as I'm committed to domain names. They've given me a good life. And I mean, why, why change it up? You know, I don't plan on doing anything too carried away different here anytime soon. So I don't know. As long as it's working, I'm going to keep doing it. I'm going to keep sharing it with you and hanging out with folks. Why do something you love by yourself? You know, it's all good that you love it, but it's so much better with others. So, Jeffrey, nice to see you. Happy New Year. Yeah, today's going to be awesome. Uh, it's always fun when you can say, today's going to be awesome. And it's one of the first days of the year, so you got this whole future ahead of you. I shared out on Twitter a tweet. Uh, I keep track of uh, the year as it goes on. Like, I'm always sharing with my wife 13% of the way through the year. Or this or that. She hates it, hates it. Uh, but I was like, you know, you can look at it 99% of the way through the year, or it's 99% of the way loaded to the best year of your life, which we are in right now. We get to make it that. So, uh, Fred, nice to have you here. Nice to see you. Always nice to, to have you join us. I know you are a busy guy, so thanks for making this happen. Uh, only an acre, nice to have you as well. And Mike, nice to see you as well. Kick-ass, 2023, indeed. And Jeffrey, let me see. Uh, did I hear him right? Entrepreneur? Yeah. <laughs> I, you know, it's kind of, uh, I'm not very well known for saying the right thing. I always, uh, uh, people around me always know like, hey, Drew is, communication is about, hey, did you understand it? As long as you understand it well enough, then we're good. Like, 
I, I say the wrong thing all the time. I'm kind of known for it. I don't know if that's a, a good thing to be known for. Well, let me start off just a little bit and let you know something that I do every year, have been doing for a few years. Uh, I have something free for you. Uh, this is something I put together. I created this, uh, and you'll find it here on performancecalendar.com, performancecalendar.com. Uh, this is a, a calendar that I use myself. I print it out onto uh, some laminated, uh, a big old laminated calendar and so on. And I enjoy the format of this calendar. It helps me uh, plan and see my entire year. And uh, since I put it together, I want to share it out with you. So it's a template that you can get at performancecalendar.com. The downloadable file on this year that button, as of right now, if you're joining me live, which hopefully you are, uh, will not work yet. Uh, we're still uploading the file to our blob storage. But you can see we've been doing this for a few years now. So, uh, And I try to tweak the calendar and make it a little better every single year. Uh, just something free that I'm, again, just like I do this show, I'm going to be looking through domain names anyways. Might as well look at uh, domain names with friends. I'm going to build out this calendar each year. Uh, for myself. I like it. I love the format. So if I'm going to do it for myself, might as well share it out with, with you. So that's what that's about. Nothing magical about it, just a format I like and want to make sure I get it in the hands of uh, the community. So there you go, performancecalendar.com. Uh, you'll be able to download that uh, later on today, uh, but you can see what it looks like. Um, with that said, it's a busy day. It, that's always, you know, that's that's kind of how this goes. So let me try to keep up with chat as well uh, as everybody kind of pops in and says hi. So, oh, yeah. Yeah, Jeffrey, that's why I was meant. Yeah, it's, it's going to be a little delayed in getting it up. Um, I'm not going to upload it myself. My guys are going to upload that. Uh, so if you're watching this on Restream, this is one of the few times you'll be better off. The link will work for you. But performancecalendar.com is up and running. It, In fact, as you probably noticed, it just takes you to from domain to profit.com. So, um, well, here we are, folks. Now to the main event, which is looking through expiring domain names. And we do that no place other than expireddomains.net. Uh, expireddomains.net is a free website. They do not pay us anything. In fact, I've never talked to them. I don't know anything about them. I don't know if they know anything about me. We'll find out. Hey, there we go. Look at that. Thank you. Thank you, Chaz. Chaz uploaded that for us. So it is uploaded. Uh, so you can now download that link. Uh, special thanks to Chaz, who uh, takes care of that stuff for me. So thank you so much. Um, so we are going to be looking through expireddomains.net. They run a website, do all the hard work of downloading all these databases of domain names that are expiring. And then we get to search through them on their website. They do not charge you anything. So set up a free account. Once you do, you can set up filters and save your searches, as well as change it from white background to dark background, which is exactly what I've done here. Nothing fancy, but it's what I do. And now we get to uh, look to expiring domain names. And this is actually kind of interesting. Uh, if you look up here at the top behind my head, we have over 100,000 domain names that are expiring this week uh, on our filtered GoDaddy uh, results. So let me see if that shows up if I add the lower third. It does not. Okay. So in the description of this video over on YouTube, you will find a link for the video to watch the filters. So how to set up the filters we do. We get rid of the hyphens. We get rid of numbers. We only look at one to three English words in .com only. So we get rid of a lot of the domain names that we would skip over typically, trying to get it narrowed down to just the best of the best. And we have over 100,000 of them, which today we're just going to look through a few hundred of them. Uh, so keep going, keep going down the list uh, if it is something that you do or you're looking for that great opportunity for this year. So now that we have the big list up and running, we've ran those filters, have it down to 100,000 domain names. We go over to this column, which you'll find just above my head, which is valuation. And we click on that to order by valuation, which you'll see that brings to the top these. Uh, it, it's ordered by uh, the top domain name should be experienced.com if you are following along. 
And how about that domain name, experienced.com, a single word domain name. Uh, you can see it's already running $20,000 right now. Uh, $21,000 is what the valuation for GoDaddy is. If you're joining me for the first time, hear what I will say nearly every week. The valuation that GoDaddy provides does nothing more than to allow us to bring the domain good domain names to the top. Do not use the valuation as the actual value of the domain name. You will go broke. You'll go broke. It's not the actual value. So it's just a, uh, a data point to help order things. So, okay. So now let's, we're, here's how this is going to work. We are going to uh, just kind of start at the top of the list, just like I would if I'm just sitting here by myself, which right now I'm literally in a building by myself with a bunch of lights on me and you sitting here. Um, and what we do is we look through the best domain names, talk about why they're the best. Uh, and then in some cases, we will even put a bid in on the domain names. Uh, so I'm opening up SpyFu, which SpyFu is the tool we are going to use. Uh, and this tool is specifically uh, a keyword tool. So if you do search engine optimization, you want to rank well in the search engines, you need to know which keywords matter, how many people are searching for things. SpyFu has uh, a tool that allows you to look and analyze data. Uh, and the reason why I use it is they allow you to see some of the top stuff for free. So you don't have to pay for it. And you'll see how this plays in as of this point. So let's get going. Experience.com, which is a great domain name. I enjoy that domain name. Already up over $20,000. Let me click on it and we'll get started with experience.com. But let me just tell you, if I have $20,000, it's not going to be spent on this domain name. Uh, I the word experience would be an amazing domain name, six figure domain name. But what you'll find is most of us, well, most domain people, including myself, I'm not a huge fan of past tense domain name. In this case, I don't mind experienced as a past tense with the, the ed at the end gives it that past tense. The one thing I don't like about past tense domain names is hey, we live in the present, we live in the future, we like living the past is typically not something that is considered a positive thing, right? We want to live present at most. So past tense gets a little bit of a bad rap when it comes to domain names. The one exception could be something like this, experience. If you're wanting to uh, log your past year, log things as they're happening, experience.com could be a good practical domain name for that. So SpyFu allows us to see, well, this over here, 18,400 searches for this to, for experienced in the search engines, which a lot of times it's like, hey, that's great. That's, that's a lot of good use. The only thing is experienced is not going to be a money word. And that shows up right down here. You'll see that uh, one of the things that we get on SpyFu is they import the Google provided data couple things you'll notice. One, you'll see that it shows that Google actually was searched over 60,000 times uh, for experienced. And you always find that SpyFu lowers that number typically. And that's because they are trying to get the number that is actually available for you. Uh, they assume that advertisers and the different Wikipedia articles and stuff around Google results, is that's going to take a lot of the traffic away. So it is saying that you are going to be left with about 19,000 uh, monthly volume for this domain name. One of the reasons why I wanted to highlight this though is experience does not have any advertisers. 64 cents per click is what is estimate, but nobody's paying it. So realistically, it's not a money domain name. And when it's not a money domain name, it's something that is at most a brandable domain name, uh, which means you can put something on it you can build a great business on it, but realistically, there's no money there. There's no industry driving this. Who would you call and say, hey, I'm Drew. I own experience.com. And when they hear that domain name, who would hear that and go, man, that's a fantastic domain name. Yes, I want to talk to you. 
that is what we're up against. The domain names that we are looking for, we want them to provide validation for your idea, validation for your business, and we want them to give you access to an industry that you may not have access to typically. And experience.com just kind of violates some of those things a little bit. Valuable domain name, but more with the investor hat on versus a domain developer uh, perspective, which is what I come at this show with is a domain developer perspective, uh, which let's that brings us to the main one here. Uh, the main one made it to the title screen, and that is keylargo.com. I provided a teaser tweet earlier uh, uh, prior to the show uh, mentioning that keylargo.com is one of the two domain names that are uh, right at the top of the list today. And keylargo.com is the domain name that has my bids. So um, I will participate into this domain name. It is getting close to the top of my budget. I do anticipate this going for probably twice as much as what I would pay for it, mostly just because there's not that many. It, great domain names like city names or names like this that appear in a song. Like we all, well, at least I know the, what is it, Beach Boys, you know, Kokomo. I'm, I, I could sing it. Who's singing it? Somebody out there singing it. Key Largo, Montego, baby, why don't we go? Okay, anyhow, Key Largo is a Florida Key. Uh, most of us know Key West the most, but Key Largo is one of the most popular keys that are down there. But most people just kind of drive to get the Key West down through it. It is a valuable domain name just because people know the name. Uh, Peter Askew mentioned buy it and run real estate down through Key Largo. You can even move there. I looked it up. I would love to live in the warm weather, but I don't want to deal with Key Largo necessarily. But anyhow, it is a good domain name. What can you do with a geo-specific domain name? That is what we're going to be looking at a little bit with keylargo.com. And we're going to start by looking in SpyFu. So it's not enough to just to think a domain name's great. You're going to see lots of great domain names as we scroll down the list. And you'll find out that many of those great domain names, they just sound good. They're not really a good foundation to build a business or a develop uh, do, domain to profit type business where the domain name is the fundamental piece of the domain of the business. In this case, Key Largo, 27,000 searches for it. And then we're going to highlight this, hit a control F. And this is the beauty of this domain name. Uh, a while back, uh, David Costello was on, uh, and he used to own uh, palmsprings.com, and I think he also sold nashville.com. Uh, it's great city domain names. That's the kind of what the kind of development you're looking at if you were to own keylargo.com. Uh, keylargo.com is, I mean, look at that Key Largo Hotels, Key Largo, Florida. Uh, so 3,200 people looking for a travel uh, for information on Key Largo, Florida. Uh, 27,000 people looking for the that your domain name, your content. You own the front door to Key Largo when you own keylargo.com. That's the front door. You have getting information about Key Largo. You can Google it and then find stuff, which keylargo.com has a chance of showing in those rankings if you develop out the site. Or you can also go the path of letting people typing that domain name, put it in advertisements, build a business on it, and now keylargo.com is the front door to all things Key Largo. Things like hotels, uh, information in general about Key Largo, Florida. You put the weather stuff up on it. Resorts, I'm not sure what movie is, Miami to Key Largo. Uh, you can see that it is used in other searches, and we like to see that. So that's what we're looking for is we want to own what people are searching for on the Internet. And then also, what do you put on the domain name? Well, you can always go to that third column, the questions, which is exactly what I always recommend is I, I don't – I've never been to Key Largo. I, have you ever been to Key Largo? I, I don't know. Maybe you've drove through it. Um so what, I don't know what to do in Key Largo. How am I going to write about what to do in Key Largo? Instead, if I want to get those 630 people that are searching each month, which I'm guessing is very seasonal, what to do in Key Largo, 
Well, that's great content. You put that question up on keylargo.com and you allow visitors and advertisers and members of the site to provide a great answer to that. And now you rank and capture those information. You provide that front door to the content. And let's go down here. This is what we want to look at. This always is part of what determines the price for the domain name, the value of it in my formulas, in what I do as a domain developer, I want to see money. I want to see advertisers. I want to see people trying to target this specific keyword. And then I come in as a domain investor, a domain developer, buy that premium real estate and develop what it is that the world wants to see on it. I don't do anything special. It's, I always say it's like a blank canvas, except for it has all the color by numbers outline on it. And now you just need to go in and, you know, red is number 13 and you just color it in and blue is number 11 and you just color in all the blue. You, it's color by number. It's business by number, domain development by number. You have four advertisers paying over a dollar. I do like to see those numbers higher. I want to see advertisers at 10 or more. I want to see cost per click at $2 or more. That weighs on this domain name a little bit. And it's why I believe I'm not going to be the purchaser of the domain name. Uh, I will not give my max bid on the show uh, just because I, I want you to participate in the auctions against me. But in these cases, when we're talking thousands of dollars, I don't want uh, somebody to be like, oh, I'm going to I'm gonna bid up Drew just to be a punk. So be aware that you may be paying the top dollar if you go against me. So uh, anyhow, so 27,000 searches, dollar each is kind of what you're looking at. We'll talk more about valuing domain names as it comes up here, if it comes up. Let me check out uh, the chat, make sure I'm not missing much. Yeah, I'm kind of curious as to what you found on the uh, web ar archives, uh, history of Key Largo on web archives. Like, hopefully it's good history. Uh, especially if you're going to be bidding on a domain name that has uh, that's going to cost you five figures, if not six figures, most likely five figures is what I'm guessing, uh, then you do want to do a little extra research. It's a great domain name, even if the domain name has had bad content on it. Uh, it's just you could be signing up for months and months of work uh, just to clean up a domain name. Look at these top two next domains. I love this. We're... we're it, a lot of times we're just scrolling, just looking for great domains, and the, the top four get talked about today, which I love weeks like this. Myidentity.com. Uh, this is one that I actually found prior to it showing up on the list. Uh, one of the searches I kind of look for occasionally are domains that start with my, M-Y. Uh, as I talk about on the show somewhat frequently, I don't like you in a domain name, Y-O-U. I prefer my versus you, uh, and so I kind of watch for these domains. My identity is not bad. That's especially in this world where we're trying to figure out what identity on the internet looks like. My identity seems to be a pretty good domain name that you can build something out uh, to be part of that conversation of web identities. So 570, uh, I could see this being an NFT project. I could see this being a single sign-on uh, type service or something that handles uh, user authentication. You can get super technical or you can just do something uh, kind of fun like personal profiles for, for people. Who knows? Uh, let's see what it is. Let's see what, uh, what it shows. So control F on that. Uh, the villain discovered my identity. Not sure what the heck that is. Um, what is my identity villain discovered? My identity was stolen. That would be a, that would be content that you could provide. There's definitely services out there that would pay to be targeting that. Not really many advertisers paying over here. Uh, one currently, but the cost per click is high. So that means that there's some competition that happens when there's more than one company uh, happening there. So there's money there, just not a lot. And there's not a lot of search volume either. Uh, so 570. I think that this one's already out of my price range. So of the two, Key Largo and My Identity, I would be skipping out on MyIdentity.com and putting my money into KeyLargo.com. Uh, but hey, if you deal in security and um, 
and you know, identity, anything to do with identity, my identity is one of the best domain names that I've seen in a long time for that kind of uh, work. So there we go, myidentity.com. Don't know what I would pay for it. It's probably less than what it is already at. So uh, kind of keep that in mind. Industrial tools. I'm excited to look into this one. I've, I saw this one pop up this morning. Uh, it sounds like something I'm gonna be interested in, but I've not done any research to know. So I'm grabbing that domain name, dropping the .com, going over to SpyFu and typing it in. So we get rid of the .com. Now we're just looking at the keywords of that domain name. In this case, 750 searches. I wanna see how many times our actual domain name shows in the control F on the keywords does that. It highlights where our domain name shows up. You'll see it's not as popular this time. Uh, Cummins Industrial Tools uh, shows as number one, 1,100 searches. You can target that kind of thing. You can't represent that you're the company, but maybe you rent them or sell used ones. This is what I like to see. This is a little better. So you see we have five advertisers targeting those, you know, the three spots or the four spots right at the top of Google. So there's some competition there. People are competing to show up for this keyword. They're paying a dollar at 11 uh, cost per click currently. I like to see that at $2 or more. I'm actually a little surprised with these numbers. It seems like they should be better than what they are. Uh, maybe it's a seasonal thing. Maybe in the spring when things uh, start building a little more, they're uh, a little better. I like these down here. I like seeing industrial uh, tools near me, industrial tool store near me. These are keywords that you can target, only a few hundred searches happening for them, but near me means people are, and this is what I would assume with this, they're looking for local product and services, local products and services. Uh, and that means that one of the ways you can monetize this domain name would be to run a local search. So show me the industrial to tools, uh, you know, concrete saws or what? who knows whatever it is that you're looking for, uh, industrial tool search, heavy equipment search on industrial tools uh, would be what I would put on it and show me the stuff like within 100 miles of me. Uh, that's the near me piece. Now you can break it up and charge those advertisers uh, a monthly fee to show their equipment for rent or for sale in a 100 mile area they join as members, you find one, one industrial tool rental and for sale place in each of the top 300 top cities in the US. That is the local Legion 300 that I talk about here on the show. I will update that information at some point this year. But the local Legion 300 says, find one paid advertiser in each of the local cities whenever you see near me, near me on a domain name or on the keyword search here in the middle, and there are over a, wait, over 300 cities in the United States that have over 100,000 population in them. That means that there's pretty large cities out there, well over 300 of them, that you just need to find one customer to pay you. So that allows you to get those first 300 customers, whether it's 20 bucks a month, 40 bucks a month, 80 bucks a month, 99 bucks a month. You can see how it adds up to where you can now turn this domain name into a source of revenue for you, especially if you know anything about industrial tools or those industries. Uh, if not, you're gonna, it's gonna be a little bit, but you can learn and do what you need to do. So I love industrial tools. In fact, that one is going to, uh, let me go off. It occurred to me I've not signed in yet. That's one of the things I typically do, so. And now you'll see me, boom, adding it to my watch list so I can uh, bid on that one later on. Okay, wealth now. So now we're a little more to the traditional piece of uh, looking through these domain names. Uh, so we're just going to kind of scroll down the list, look for great domain names that you are looking for a great domain name for you. Okay, don't get caught up in a domain name that's just a great domain name, unless you're an investor, of course. If you are just have tons of money and just buying domain names, then you know, do whatever the hell you wanna do. <laughs> but if you are looking for a domain name that's gonna change your life and set your family and yourself up for the future, 
while you help a lot of people, like we have done with towing.com and other domain names. And in that case, make sure you find something in an industry you plan on sticking around in for a while. Uh, don't just grab something because I say it's a good domain name or not. You're going to burn out. It's going to lead to a miserable existence. And I'm not here to give you a miserable existence. I'm here to give you the life of your dreams, not to give it to you, but to help you have a path to make it happen. So I do want to take one second and pull up an image. Uh, it feels like we should talk about this for um, – for one second here. I don't know. I think it's going to take me off the screen, but uh, this is the uh, the overlay. This I'm sorry. This is the, uh, the what we talk about a lot of times uh, is uh, the domain name is that gray box. And we are looking to uh, we want to find the domain name that has authority validation total access that we can just tap into. And that is that section over there that. Uh, that's why we tap it. We're just looking to take a little monthly income off that domain name each month. Uh, now, of course, any domain name could be bought and attempted to sold, be sold, which is why you see the for sale sign on top. And you also see that building. Uh, a lot of people ask me, can you build on and develop any domain name, including uh, non.com domains? The answer is yes. Lots of people do it. You can build on any domain name. All it is is land. But we want the land that has stuff in the ground. We want the oil reserves. We want the diamonds that are in the mines underneath that domain name. That are, those are the domain names we are looking to pay top money for. I uh, figured showing that is helpful, especially because it's first of the year. You might have had a New Year's resolution, not know who this guy right here is. And I want to make sure you kind of see that. That's the framework that we deal with as we look to these domain names and you can see that with the domain names we've talked about already. One of the ways I say it is if you were to call somebody and say, hey, I'm Drew Wash and I'm with KeyLargo.com. If you call somebody in KeyLargo.com and you say, hey, I'm Drew with KeyLargo.com and I, they're going to be like, wait, what? You have KeyLargo? Yes, it, it gets your foot in the door, which if you've ever done cold calls or advertising or marketing or sales, you know getting your foot in the door is like 90% of what the game is. You have to be able to talk to the decision maker in the world is very good at keeping you from the decision maker unless you have the ticket. You know, you have that relationship or some way to have access to somebody and domain names provide that access, that validation, that authority, the, the access to an industry. So for example, all these companies that sell these, you know, tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars of industrial tools, you know, they're going to be a lot more likely to pick up your call and talk to you. If you say, hey, I'm Drew, I'm with industrialtools.com. And what you'll hear all the time is, wait, what? I'm sorry, industrialtools.com? Oh, hey, uh, they'll, they'll act like you know you. And everything. Anyhow, uh, so that's what we were looking for with these domain names. I uh, just wanted to kind of highlight that refresh a little bit and now on down through more of the domain names what is an nft that domain name would have been a baller domain name a year ago nowadays uh still something you may want to look into i don't typically like three word domain names that one would be kind of fun nice simple site i'm guessing it's going for way more than what i would want to mess with it uh, currently $40. I'm sure it has more time left in it, though. I don't really care to uh, go diving into it. Affinity Insurance. Uh, so now what you might see is I will skip over a lot of domain names. Some of these domain names are great domain names, just not, they're not sparking a develop this in this way type of thing, or they're too complicated of a business, so I just kind of skip it up. But also, I will say, and you hear this a lot on the show, uh, a, a lot of domain names are almost, almost domain names. Almost domain names are domain names that are almost amazing. And if you spend your money on almost domain names, you are going to waste your money. It's one of the things that you really have to work on being disciplined in. 
discipline in buying domain names that you love and that you know are good for you, not domain names that are almost, you know, you're going to waste a lot of money. Property launch. It's kind of a marketing domain name. I can see that being like a staging service brand or something like that. Or, um, yeah, uh, I'm not a huge fan. I'm going I'm to keep moving on. Feed it. I have some domain names that have it in them, but I'm going to keep moving on. Emotes.com. If that's a, it seems like a good domain name. Let's find out. Six days left. It is a two cows domain name as a registrar, meaning chances are it is not going to uh, make it to auction, but we'll see. There's a chance that it does. So uh, I, I did. I do also want to mention uh, a few weeks ago, I used to always say that enom domain names, they never like very seldom do they complete the auction. Uh, they do. I did get tire change. It is in my account. Uh, TireChange.com bought that a few weeks ago. That was an enom domain name. Uh, so if an enom domain name gets within the last two days of the auction, it does seem like it's more likely that it's going to uh, complete the auction. So uh, we will start to include them if they're the last uh, few days. Emotes, 16,000 searches for that domain, for that keyword, not the domain name. And you'll see Twitch emotes. Not sure why the E is not in that. Let me see here. I don't even really know what an emote is. I'm not cool enough to honestly be talking about this domain name, but uh, no money though. That's what I was looking for. So no advertisers, no cost, well, 36 cents per cost per click. Uh, this would be more of probably a vanity domain name, something you would buy um, just for the fun of it. I saw Peter Askew was developing out some emoji uh, type domain names, uh, which that's fun. That's fun. Get, you know, just sometimes you can develop for the fun of it. And who knows, maybe it'll lead to uh, money in the future. Got to learn your development skills somehow. Might as well do it on stuff you actually want to. Special products. See, that's one of those like um, special products just sounds like a such a it's like you can go too generic. And that sounds way too generic. Oh, yeah, let me uh, go add emotes to my watch list it's one of those domains where it's like I, I, don't, I won't go all in on it but there's always a chance that i'll buy it just because i may value it i value all domain i value a lot of domain names more than most and sometimes i'll bid on domains just to keep others from getting too good of a price it's like i'll buy the domain name anyhow I feel like we've seen trust planning in here for a few weeks. Not sure what's up with that. That was like three weeks ago we saw that. Okay. Okay, so here's an opportunity to uh, to warn you about something that we see a lot in domain names. This especially affects uh, those who are uh, English as a second language. Uh, one of the things is you'll see right here, gamesnight.com games night and they have that middle s that plural on the first world word is a dangerous thing in this case games night is worthless it's worth like it, okay it's worth something what is it uh uh anyhow it, it but games night okay it may be worth something but not much it is not it's worth such a minuscule fraction of game night that you don't want to mess with this domain name. And what happens is a lot of times, especially English as a second language, uh, you'll see this domain name, you'll think, oh, it's just as good as game night. Uh, and you'll buy it and you'll spend money on it. And you didn't realize that that middle S uh, or that plural in that first word, unless it makes sense, which is very, it's like one in, Five twenty percent of the time it makes sense. Most of the time it does not, and you're going to waste your money. This is a trap. Game nights or gamesnight.com is a trap. Don't fall for it. I just kind of want to mention that it's been a while since we've really had a opportunity to talk about that middle S 
but yes, middle S's are a little dangerous sometimes. Um, college dropout sounds like a fun uh, marketing domain name. Let's go check it out. $104 currently, six days left in the auction if my big head gets out of the way. <laughs> Uh, $104 is currently what it's going for. And uh, college drop, college, yeah, college dropout. Okay, let's go see uh, what the spy foo shows on that. What the spy foo, what the spy foo is going on here? Uh, I'm clicking all over the place. I've never used a laptop before, it seems. Okay, control F. Show me something. Come on, Control F. Okay, so this is the, my first impression of this domain name is more of a uh, like a marketing domain name, a domain name you would use to target uh, for just random marketing campaigns. That may still be the best way to use this. Just kind of random, like hey, collegedropout.com, where you go to find uh, side hustles for those who go a path that's not college or you know, something like that. You'll see 10,000. That's a big number there. What was this one running? $104 currently. Now, don't, you got to watch out sometimes, though. 10,000 isn't all that, like that number, uh, 100,000 people. This is one of those things that if you pursue a value of val, uh, my goodness, get the word out of your face, dude. If you pursue a viral video, or you want to create something that gets shared with a lot of people. One of the dangers of those things is a lot of eyeballs does not equal money. It does not equal a way to build wealth for yourself. And this could be one of those domain names. I don't know. We won't know until we scroll down. Uh, but one of the things you want to look at is 10,000 searches means nothing if people are not spending money targeting the keyword, which that's what this is here. College dropout, yeah, it may be getting 10,000 searches a month that you can target. Uh, look at all these middle keywords that are happening. Yellow all over the place, that's what you wanna see. That means your domain name is part of all these different search phrases here. The thing is, how are you gonna make money off of that? It's gonna be just for fun, like it's gonna be more of a hobby or a blog or uh, it's back to this. Let me go back to this image here. Uh, Back to this, well, this would be something that college dropout would be the gray box and you would build your enterprise on top of it. It would not be a domain name. Uh, it like has some, it has some authority underneath. And by authority, like you'd be like, hey, I'm the guy that owns collegedropout.com. They'd be like, that's pretty cool. It's a good domain name. If you like, that's, that's, a, that's like step one is somebody hearing your domain name and be like, oh, that's a pretty good domain name. Uh, but realistically, we can see there's not really much happening here as far as money, meaning it's more of a vanity product or a marketing thing. Uh, I could see this being used in marketing campaigns where it's like, you don't have to go to college to be successful. You can go to collegedropout.com and who knows? It would be a, bu a business built on just that idea that you don't have to go to college. Um, could be fun. I like the domain name, just not sure what I would put on it. Uh, let's see. But that one was going for, oh my goodness, I am all over the place. Six days left in the auction, $104 currently. Uh, adding it to my watch list. Failed to add to my watch list. But uh, I'll try to add it later. There we go. Second time the charge go that the charm, go daddy. Uh, pet supplies store. Okay, this is that middle. It's not even just a middle S in this case. This is a middle plural. They went all in on being plural, and in this case, it's I E S. But you can hear it doesn't even sound like it sounds. Poor. It's not a good domain. Pet supplies, great domain. Pet supplies store. Pet supplies. So it's an almost domain name at best. Um, pet supply store probably would make sense. Uh, so we're going to skip over that domain name, but there you go. Just keep that in mind. Plural in the middle a lot of times gets into dangerous territory. 
I hope I've saved a lot of people some money over the course of the years. And yes, that is the quote I was going for. Uh, is the the domain's not worthless, but it's just worth less. Braden Pollock. Yes, I, I was worried I was going to say it wrong or something, so I uh, skipped over it. But yeah. I, yes, uh, Jeffrey's saying mentioning that I've, I've yeah I I was very negative on Enom there for um, for months. Uh, just every time I would look at an Enom domain name, it would get pulled last minute, and that is still the case. Most of the Enom domains, so these domain names like uh, this over here, here we go, uh, like Enom. That's what I'm referring to. Uh, those domain names a lot of times get pulled back. They can renew, these are expiring domains and the domain name, because it's expiring, all they have to do to keep the domain name is renew it. So you'll find out, and we've not seen them and we don't see them as often, but a domain name, if it's renewed, uh, it can be renewed kind of late into the process. So you might be like top bidder and you're like, yeah, I'm gonna put $20,000 on this domain name. And next thing you know, the domain name auction ends and it, the person renewed it. That happens somewhat frequently. You know, keep your emotions in check. Uh, but that happened, it used to happen all the time with Enom, like a, practically 100% of the time. Uh, so I, would, I just wouldn't look at those domain names. With the win that I have on tirechange.com, which was an Enom domain name, I I, I want to I will mention them from time to time. Just they're still not going to get the same uh, love that other domain names get because they're still not going to get uh, finish the auction as often. What happens is a lot of the enom owners there a, a lot of the domain name owners that are in enom uh, they just know about the loopholes and they're one of the loopholes is. They can let their domain name expire late or let it expire and then renew it after during the redemption period. And what happens is they get uh, additional exposure through all the auctions, uh, through GoDaddy expired domain auctions here on this show. Uh, so what they do is they let it go and people bid it up and then they pull the domain name back and it's just trying to get exposure for a domain name they wanna sell. So it's a game I do not support. I don't like that they do it. I think it's shady as shit. <laughs> Pardon the language. But uh, realistically, it is. It's not something I want to support. So I used to not talk about enom domain names at all. Uh, kind of my rule of thumb now is going to be if I see it's within uh, two or three days, I might give it a shot. Uh, but if it's still seven days out, I'm, I'm not going to. They, they will not make it in most cases. Uh, game provider. I don't mind it. Again, it's an enom. So one of the things you'll see is a lot of the ones that are pretty good domains are a lot of times enom domains. They're people that are just letting it, uh, you know, show up in these in the the search engines. A lot of times they'll get these high bids and then they pull it at the last minute, and it, it's it benefits them, not you, and it's just selfish. So if you're out there going, "Ooh, I want to do that." You're being super selfish and shady, and yeah, you're. I'm not a fan of that. Don't tell me if you're one of those people. Keep that stuff to yourself. <laughs> I get it. It's the system allows you to do it. So, game the system, hack the world. Just not a big fan. Okay, support my business. Anybody feeling that one? I'm not feeling that one. Add lead, and not really. We're not really a big fan of that one either. I like those are a couple of domains. If you put a couple hundred bucks on, like support my business, add lead, uh, they sound good. The town square. Okay, I don't mind that one. So here you go, the townsquare.com. Let's go check that one out. So my thought on the townsquare.com, as you will hear, middle s is something I say to avoid. I also say avoid the in front of domain names. The is a horrible domain name start. Do not use the. There are a few exceptions. The Great Outdoors was a domain name we saw last year. The Great Outdoors, 
people, I don't know if people say great outdoors without the at the beginning, right? So it's part of the phrase, the great outdoors versus great outdoors. So having the at the beginning of that makes sense. Same kind of thing with this. Town Square, great domain name. But most people say, hey, well, I don't know, do they? We're down at the town square. It's at the town square. This one's a little, it's 50-50, but it's good enough that I will mention the town square is not, it, it doesn't violate the rules that I kind of, my gut, my gut doesn't, isn't repulsed by the at the beginning of this domain name. That's all I can tell you. Like, isn't that, hopefully that's enough as of this point is to kind of say, my gut's not alarmed by the idea of having the at the beginning of it. So when people say the phrase, do they say the? That's, that's one of the things you're kind of, you, you have to process it through your knowledge of reality. What is it? And if people are not saying it, then skip it. Okay, so you'll see here, town square. If you buy the town square to target this 11,000, uh, that 11,000 for town square, you are making a mistake. That is what I want you to avoid. That's why the is so dangerous. The changes the entire game for a domain name. It is a pointless word that will waste your time and money. Uh, however, if you're running a blog, if you're creating a community type website, the town square doesn't seem like a bad domain name. It gives you something to build on. So again, that gray box, the domain name's your foundation. You are building on top of it. I still don't like it. I especially, like I love seeing 11,000. There's no advertisers, no cost per click over there. Okay, I'm gonna move on from this domain name. Uh, I don't, I like, I like the domain name, it would be a good blog, but yeah. Tiki Beach. Tiki Beach is what I what I said. See the domain name? All right. Got to watch out reading some of these out loud. I have a, uh, a daughter, and I'm always like, you know, make sure that if she's at home watching this, which she may be. Hey, Ruth, if you are. Uh, I got to make sure that she's she's sitting there probably going, uh-oh, daddy cussed. She'll be harassed me when I get home. She's a little girl with all kinds of personality, and she will call me out on my – saying not correct things <laughs> wouldn't have it any other way safety briefing man i love a lot like a lot of these domain names are you know if you can get them for 20 bucks like so one of the things you might want to do and i do encourage you to do this actually uh add them to your watch list uh when you add them to your watch list it adds them to a list on GoDaddy, you're not bidding as of that point, but it keeps track of them. And then if nobody bids, uh, the domain name would go to a buy it now. So these domain names, you can buy them at auction, highest bidder wins. But if no one bids on a domain name on a GoDaddy auction, that domain name goes to a buy it now or a closeout deal. And it starts at $50, buy it now. And then it goes down all the way to like $10 or something you can buy it for if no one buys it. So when you add domains that you're like, oh, that's pretty good, add it to your watch list. Add, it, add them, oh, as many as you think you might be interested to your watch list. And what that allows you to do is possibly buy them for cheap later. Uh, so that's one of the things I've been doing that a lot more uh, over the last few months is there's, there's a lot of domain names. I bought uh, informationonly.com. I mean, freaking great dom I, great domain, information only. How many times do people say that all the time? Bought that for a $50 buyout or a $50 closeout deal. I'm it's like, geez, I like it. Super rates, not bad. Alaska movers, uh, that sounds horrible. But I will say Alaska does get uh, searched by the state more frequently than other states. Because if you're shipping something to Alaska, uh, a lot of times it goes via water versus land. But it, I don't know. I'm guessing, a, a, anyhow, a lot of people search for Alaska by state versus city. 
Uh, it works both ways, though. And I know that from uh, dealing in transportation logistics and auto transport. If you're shipping a vehicle to Alaska, a lot of times you just search for Alaska versus the city. Time for two. Not bad. Motorcycle finance, for example, like not a bad domain name over there. I just I'm, I'm going to move on. Let's see if we can keep this momentum and these great domain names going. I'm hoping that we can. Okay. Things are going to slow down. Oh, actually, geez, we're five minutes into the, uh, we only got five minutes left. So it's about time for summary. Time flew, people. If I, did you, you realize it's been an hour? I did not. Just going to look real quick. Let's see if we can grab a last minute win domain. Then we're going to do a summarize. Oh, and then we'll, okay. Uh, yeah, not seeing anything. Out shift, maybe. That sounds like fun. Auto hound, good, like an auto search engine. Okay. Well, in that case, let's go and uh, let's go and do a summary. We'll look over some of the domain names we've looked at. Uh, the townsquare.com, one of the few domain names that has the in front of it that I don't mind. Fifteen dollars currently, three days left in it. Again good for a blog or something. So if the price is cheap, then go for it. Not something I'd probably develop out under any of the business models I've ever talked about on the show. College dropout, same kind of thing. A fun domain name. People would hear it and be like, oh, it's a good domain. But who would be like, oh, yeah, that I want to oh, like advertise on that or something. Who targets like college dropouts? Not able, like that, nothing comes to the top of my mind on that. So in that case, it, it's one of those, eh, you can get some traffic, but it's not setting any records. Emotes.com, a fun domain name. Uh, I saw some chat about emotes.com. Uh, had some good numbers. Uh, we'll see what ended up going for. It's on my watch list as well. Uh, industrialtools.com, possibly one of my favorite domain names of the day mostly because I know that there's a big industry around this. It's all B2B, which I love business to business. Uh, these businesses, construction companies, leasing and selling uh, equipment to each other. I definitely have it on my watch list. We'll participate in that one. Uh, again, that would be a industry portal. So the front door to the industry tools industry could be on this domain name. It's one of the reasons I like it. It's one of the ways I process through what is a good domain name, one that can be the portal or the front door to an industry, similar to towing.com or photobooths.com or bartenders.com or djs.com, these domain names that I've uh, spent and acquired over the many, uh, many years here. Myidentity.com, over $5,200 currently, one day left on the auction. If you're looking to get into tech related to security, uh, especially, you know, user profile type stuff, not a bad domain name, but you can see the price is already going. Not going to get a bid from me on that one. Uh, it's outside of my price range. However, this one, let's see if it's uh, went up at all since, uh, yep. Up oh, now I'm logged in, so you can see. <laughs> so now you can see that I've been in on the bid. But uh, one day left, uh, keylargo.com, 15000 currently. I will still participate in this auction on my watch list. I would anticipate this domain name going for probably thirty-five thousand uh, dollars, I will not go up that high, uh, but I wouldn't be surprised. It's a good domain name. I would not be shocked if it doesn't go for six figures as well. Uh, just it does have some ring to it. Uh, you, I can't. I don't think I would spell it wrong. That's one of the nice things about it. It's not one of these domain names that it makes sense, but you can spell wrong. Largo. I, that's I spell it the way it is. So if I spell it right, then that's a good thing. Cause I'm a horrible speller. Uh, experience.com, $20,000. I'm not interested in this one. Past tense, it does have a purpose though. Certainly a good brand, but this is for those of you that have deep pockets. You probably already knew about it. It's on top of the charts. Uh, then one last thing I will mention one more time is performancecalendar.com, performancecalendar.com. Uh, you can get the free calendar that I uh, create uh, each year. I print this out, I 
blow it up on a big board, uh, have Kinko's put it and mount it onto a big piece of foam board. And some years I do a great job of using it. Other years I don't. I love this thing though. It is formatted to be able to see the full year. Not, it's not like a planner to where you get into the details, but if you're looking to, hey, we're looking to get this done by this part of the year, this is a good format for that. So for big thinkers like me that love to see the big picture, this is the best format of a calendar I've ever found. Uh, and well, I create the format now because you it's not something I can buy anywhere. So okay, there we go. Okay, well, I think with that said, I've not seen anything pop up in the chat that I want to run through. So I'm going to uh, just check real quick to make sure I've not missed any questions or anything that I want to see. Okay. If I've missed something, then so be it. We'll catch it up next week. If you are watching on Restream, thanks for watching as well. You can always mention into the comments and post afterwards. Sorry to miss you. If you're not here live, it is what it is. I do very much appreciate you watching. I am here each week, and I do this, well, pretty much. I hope you like and subscribe to the videos. I hope you chat and talk to main names with me over on Twitter. I do this because I love doing it. I am going to be looking through domain names on my own. Why not do it with you? I hope I bring value to your life this week and every week going forward as we look through expiring domain names where we can build these domain names, get them generating value to the world, and in turn produce a life and create your dreams for yourself. I love this stuff. <laughs> I don't want to stop, but... I will say, have a great week. I will be back here next week, Monday, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We will be talking and looking through that week's expiring domain names. Until then, I will see you over on Twitter. Drew Wash, wash like, wash your hands. See you there.